This is an example of using the University of California at Santa Cruz genome browser. When we open the browser, we are on chromosome 21 and we're looking at the length of chromosome 21. So from base pair number 1 to base pair 48 million. We can zoom in. We can zoom back out. We can look at the variety of information that's been found on uh, chrom chromosome 21 for the um, HG19 genome and going down here we can see all the uh, work that's been done on various genes on chromosome 21 this is just scrolling down We can see the um, homologous alignments for rhesus, monkeys, mouse, dog, elephant, and as we get further away from the human genome, there's um, less and less homology. So what we're doing is looking at the variety of uh, information sources that have been created for the um, chromosome 21 and the ways in which that that data has been generated. Here using Illumina, um, NGS technology, Riken cage technology and um, a variety of other technologies. If we go back to the top of this particular page we can look at a particular gene, in this case RWD2B. We click on that. Gives us information about that gene, its location, its size, exon count. We go down the page. Here we have sequence and links to tools and databases, Wikipedia even, um, the genome browser, Ensemble, different laboratories. Comments and description texts. Um, this is a ubiquitous gene. Uh, what it reacts with. So the data for this gene is generated from the Thousand Genomes Project Phase 1. Microarray expression data. So we have the um, sources of the data, as in the tissue types. d imaging of the um, structure back
so we can zoom in here we are back looking at the totality of chromosome 21 so if we zoom in the base level so here we're looking at chromosome 21 from 24,064,000 to 24,065,000 and here we see the base structure that exists so this is just an introduction to using the genome browser obviously there's lots of links So human gene KCNE1. So it's a potassium voltage gated channel. Details about this gene. What happens with mutation of this gene? what it reacts with what it looks like So here we have the gene. Zoom in. So I've got alpha helices, two alpha helices. Have a look at the symmetry view. Different subunits within there. So there's a variety of um, links, huge variety of links. I think that's enough for now.